trying to start in a different way anyway hello 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 everyone welcome back to weekly korean life class my name is keijin 안녕하세요 케이진입니다 and who 안녕하세요 침치입니다 and thank you so much for joining today's class as usual i'm very 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 happy to see you guys again <laughs> how are you and and on facebook and on youtube yay we already have the comment thank you thank you <laughs> that's amazing so 안녕하세요 크리스 안녕하세요 에밀리 uh rene kwati baksojun oh we have baksojun today <laughs> and trusty we have all the regular students ready for today's lesson awesome and rude d and 전정형, 제이콥, 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요, and how are you guys? All good? <laughs> okay, so today um, we are going to talk about. Can you see this? <laughs> What's happening in Korea? Yes, we are going to talk about September in Korea. Yes, September in Korean is Kuwar, and we are going to talk about the Korean travel tips and what else? <laughs> a lot of things so please keep watching this video and i hope you will enjoy today's video and i have 공지사항 공지사항 means announcements by the way what is announcement today's 공지사항 is as usual if you click the link in the description you will see a page like like this <laughs> yes what is this page for yes this is a page where where you can download free learning materials of my life classes for example today i'm going to talk about september in korea and i will have a lot of learning materials <laughs> the pdf and you can always download it for free if you are a member of koreanclass101.com so what you need to do is just Sign up for your koreanclass101.com and if you are not a member of koreanclass101, well, sign up. <laughs> if you are a member, you just need to log in and just click on this blue button. Download! Download! That's it! <laughs> simple. It's that much simple. So I hope you can take advantage of it because this page basically have tons of useful learning materials that you can take advantage of. For example, let's look at this. This is Hangul ebook. Hangul ebook. Free Hangul ebook. Hangul is a Korean alphabet. And with this ebook, yes, you can learn the Korean alphabet simply, easily. And also, all my previous lesson materials about uh, Korean short stories, Korean grammar, uh, Korean vocabulary, Korean kids' song, and also cultural tips. And free learning materials, whoo, it's a lot, right? I cannot scroll until the end in this lesson because there are just so many. <laughs> so please take advantage of it. And if you are a new member, some people are confused. Hey, your website is not free. Well, we do have paid membership, but for this page, for to download these materials, you do not need the paid membership. So with the paid membership, you can learn Korean with Korean teachers and lots of premium study tools. But if you just need these learning materials, well, then you only need to <laughs> uh, sign up as a free member. And free member can download all of this. See, there are so many. So I hope you can enjoy this. So I think our students are ready to be here. So let's start today's lesson. Download Pali. <laughs> Maya, that's right. Pali Pali. <laughs> Meaning quickly, quickly. <laughs> and Kwati is. 공지사항, 항, 공지사항, meaning announcement or notice. And Busan Spirits, 안녕하세요. And Sakura, oh, it's Jungkook's birthday today. 생일 축하합니다. BTS, <laughs> ARMY, go <Good> ARMY. <laughs> okay, and Paulina, me too. I'm excited for today's class. Love from Brazil, obrigado. <laughs> and Nikhil, 안녕하세요. And Felix. Cloud Un, Bang Twice, Ice, whoo, awesome, Sheila. And of course, on Facebook too. And Resmes, Kelly, Nestigil, Dev, Michelle. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so let's start today's lesson. Let me share the slide now. Ta -da, September in Korea. And as I mentioned, September is so easy because it's just cruel. Why is cruel? Because it's ninth month. Nine in Korean is ku, ku, ku. And you just put wal, wal, which means month. So easy. <laughs> in English, it's so difficult, isn't it? <laughs> 영어는 어려워요. <laughs> English is difficult because every month has a different name. Oh, July, August, September, October. But in Korean, it's so easy. You just say, oh, you just need to say the number one, two, three, four, five, and just put what. That's it. Whew. So, 9월 means September. And by the way, as I mentioned, if you click the link in the description, you can get this free Hangul writing worksheet plus a lot of free learning materials that you can uh, download for free. And also, you can watch my video and you can get lesson note. So, great deal! <laughs> okay, so, 먼저 날씨에 대해 얘기해 봐요. So, let's talk about the weather. 날씨, 날씨. In Korea, so how hot is it or how cold is it? Mm, it's not very hot or cold as you can see here. So, Seoul, Seoul is here. It's the capital of Korea. Seoul, Seoul. And the highest temperature is 26 degrees. By the way, we don't use Fahrenheit, so it's Celsius <laughs> in Korea. So, 26 degrees. Seoul is... 최고 기온은 26도예요. 서울에 means Seoul's 최고 기온 means highest temperature. And 서울의 최고 기온은 은 is a particle. 26도, 26도, 26 meaning 26. And the degree is 도, 도. And 예요 means like is. So 서울의 최고 기온은 26도예요. And it's not so hot, right? <laughs> so it's not cool yet, but it's getting cooler and cooler in Korea. Mm. So in Korea, we typically think 6월, 6월, June, 7월, 7월, July, and 8월, 8월, August are considered as 여름. 여름, summer. So, actually, 9월, 9월, September is supposed to be, supposed to be the autumn, fall. But these days, you know, because of 기후변화, 기후변화, the climate change. Let me write it down here. 기후변화, climate change. September is still very hot. So, <laughs> so well, if you visit Korea, Yes, you will think, oh, it's not so cool yet, but it's definitely less hot than uh, July and August. So, 서울의 최고 기온은 26도예요. And 대전 too, 대전 is in 충청도 and it's in the middle, middle of South Korea. And it's 최고 기온, highest temperature is 26 degree. Hmm, still hot. And Busan too, second biggest city in Korea, uh, near the ocean, is 26 degree. By the way, this is highest temperature, so maybe in other time it's 23 degree. And I honestly think that's the perfect, perfect temperature. Mm. <laughs> and Jeju, Jeju, Jeju-do is here. Jeju-do is the biggest island located in the South, South Korea, and it's 25 degrees. Mm. Okay, so I think September is a pretty good month to travel in Korea. So if you are ever planning to visit Korea, and now you know that Korea government accept tourists, foreign tourists, so hey, visit Korea. <laughs> I'm advertising Korea. Hey, Korea is an amazing country. <laughs> and, ah, uh, yes, Kwati Bazayo, because of global warming. <laughs> Yeah, I also prefer cooler temperature. Mm. <laughs> okay, summer is unbearable, Brian. I agree. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so, Chan. This is the one sentence I can summarize uh, the Korean uh, weather in September. 점점 선선해져요. 점점 선선해져요. 점점 means gradually. And 선선해지다 is actually a combination of two different expression words. 선선하다 plus 아, 어, 여, 월, 해, 지다. So I'll just put 어, 아, 어, 지다 because 해 is kind of exception and I'll introduce very soon. So 선선하다. 선선하다. It means to cool, to be cool. It's an adjective. It's an adjective in Korean. And it means to be cool. And you only use it for the weather. So for example, oh, the beer is cool. Or <laughs> what is cool? What is cool? Like, or oh, your clothes is cool. No, we do not use 선선하다 for that. 선선하다 is the temperature for the weather, weather outside. So for example, mm, very often this word is used to describe the temperature or weather of uh, autumn. You don't really use it for the spring, even though the temperature is very similar. Because in Korea, we often say, oh, it's very warm warm it's getting warming and it's getting warmer and warmer in uh, spring so we do not use this and 선선해져요 선선하다 선선하다 as you can see here we often use it for um, uh, September October or November or at night because in even in summer it can be very hot but at night the weather can be 선선하다 cool so 선선하다 meaning to be cool and it's only used for the weather weather. And there's another word, 시원하다, meaning exactly the same, it means to, to be cool, but this can be used for um, any other things too. For example, cool water, this water is cold. In English, you say cold water, but in Korean, we say uh, 시원한 물, 시원한 물 is cool water, so 시원하다 can be used for other things too, like water, beer, juice. <laughs> But 선선하다 is only for the weather. And now we have 아, 어, 지, 다. It means become, become. Oh, uh, money monthly. Like how you say 덥다 and 춥다 for weather? Exactly. 덥다 and 춥다 is only for the weather. And 차갑다, 차갑다 or 뜨겁다 is only used for the something, right? It's like uh, hot pot is hot. In that case, we use uh, 뜨겁다, 차갑다, exactly the same. 시원하다 is, uh, can be used for anything, but 선선하다 is only for the weather. Good point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Eklavia, my typing speed is faster than my, your network. I'm glad. <laughs> I can actually type faster. But <laughs> now while, while I'm doing live, well, it's very difficult to type because it's very high, so I have to type like this. But anyway, <laughs> oh, Kelly, you visited Korea in June and August. It was very hot. Exactly, because it's typical summer, 여름 in Korea. <laughs> okay, awesome. So, let's talk about this, by the way. 아, 어, 여, 아, 어, 여, 지다. So, basically, you use uh, verb stem and conjugate with 아, 어, 여, 지다. For example, um, what can you do? Any adjective you want to use? <laughs> Any adjective? Uh, for example, we have <laughs> 예쁘다. It's a very common expression with this 어, 지다. So, 예쁘다. What is the verb stem here? It's 예쁘, 예쁘. Ah, so which one should I use? 아 or 어? 
Remember, if the verb stem, last syllable of the verb stem ends with a or o sound, a or o sound, you use a, a, chida. But if the last syllable of the stem ends with something else other than uh, a or o, then you use o, chida, o, chida. So you're supposed to use 예뻐지다, 예뻐지다. But can you hear this? 예뻐지다. So when you pronounce it quickly, it automatically, it automatically shortens. So Korean people say 예뻐지다, 예뻐지다. So it means become pretty. So it shows changes, basically. Shows changes. The point is become, become. So it shows the changes. So when you meet someone, for uh, when you meet someone after a long time, you haven't met for that person for a long time, and you met that person, then often you say, "Oh, 예뻐졌 예뻐졌네," <laughs> or 더 예뻐졌네, meaning, "Oh, you are much prettier now." So it's kind of common compliment in Korea. Yes. I'm sure, yeah, they, they mean, oh, you are pre much prettier than before, but it's kind of fixed expression too. <laughs> it's like common compliment. Oh, 예뻐졌네, 예뻐졌네. We often use it with, with the past tense, by the way, because 예뻐져요, Claudun, great job with the uh, conjugation in the present tense, and 예뻐져요 means you are getting prettier and prettier, and, but in Korea, we often say you got prettier and prettier you already done much prettier now so 예뻐져요 is showing the progress now I'm changing but you already changed and you look very pretty so it shows the changes and please remember that 아, 어, 지, 다 only conjugate with an 아, 어, 지, 다 only conjugate with an adjective adjective and now let's conjugate with 선선하다 Oops. 선선하다. So, 선선하 is the verb stem, right? Adjective stem, actually. Adjective stem. So, 선선하다 is a dictionary form of the word. And remove da at the end. You have 선선하. And this is a stem. Stem. Ah, so it ended with a sound, right? The stem. Last syllable of the stem end with a sound. So should I use a? Yes or no? <laughs> so 선선하 is actually an exception. So when when a verb and verb or adjective adjective ends with 하다, just replace with 해, and then put 지다, 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 선선해지다. 선선해지다. So, 아, 어, 지, 다. Or, if, it, if the ver, verb or adjective, actually adjective. <laughs> adjective ends with 하다, you only use 해지다. Make sense? Good? All good? <laughs> 안녕하세요, 에이샤. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, Christopher, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very good tip about Korean holidays. And Madrid. Okay, so this is how we made 선선해지다. And I made it as a spoken form by putting your form 선선해져요. And 점점 means gradually. Gradually is getting cool or cooler and cooler. So basically it means like uh, get cool, getting cool or become cool. So it's the concept of a-o-ji-da is showing the changes. It wasn't like that before, but it changed. Okay, so let's move on. 짠! 9월에 있는 공휴일과 이벤트에 대해서 얘기해 볼게요. So let's talk about public holidays and event in September. 공휴일 public holidays. 공 public 휴일 holidays. 이벤트 event. <laughs> what event is there? Basically, we have 추석. Ooh, this is very important. If you ask me to choose two 
biggest holidays in Korea, I would choose Chuseok and Seollal. Seollal is New Year's holiday. And this Chuseok, Chuseok, Korean Thanksgiving Day. Yay! It's very important, so please remember. So usually, uh, we have three days holidays. Three days holidays. Because it, this day is so important, we cannot just uh, rest for one day. It's not enough. We need a few more days. So we take three days holidays for Chuseok. Chuseok. Yes. And this year, uh, Chuseok is 9월 9일부터 uh, 9월 Oh, yes. <laughs> so it's from 9월 9일 to 9월 12일. Let me double check just in case. <laughs> Ooh, I love holidays. Yay. <laughs> so yes, it's uh, 9월 9일, uh, September 9th to September 12th. So, so it's very important. So what do they do? So our family and uh, relatives gathers on this day. Yes. So we uh, do the traditional ceremony for our ancestors to we prepare the food and we d do bowing, traditional bowing like this to say thank you and please protect us. So this is a traditional one. And I did that when I was young, but these days uh, many family don't do this ceremony anymore. Oh, so sad. Tradition is going away. But anyway, <laughs> so Chuseok, Chuseok, Chuseok has uh, another name, which is Hangawi, Hangawi, Chuseok. I would say Chuseok is more common. So what are you going to do in Chuseok? Good. <laughs> what are you going to do in Hangawi? I wouldn't use Hangawi often personally. Yeah, I only use it maybe in the like kind of like greeting, greeting letter. But in daily life, I say Chuseok much more often. But you will see this word Hangawi on TV or some letters. <laughs> Hangawi or Chuseok. And do you see this food? Mm. This is Songpyeon. It's typical food for Chuseok. Inside, there are some nuts or beans or sometimes... It depends on family, actually. <laughs> So in my family, we put kind of like some honey and nuts. And sometimes I personally like uh, red beans. So we put red beans or some people just put beans. So it depends on the family. The recipe is <laughs> diverse. <laughs> but I personally prefer the sweet one with honey or black sugar with nuts. Yeah. So songpyeon is um, it's rice cake, by the way. Rice cake. Songpyeon. Songpyeon. Mari, 안녕하세요. <laughs> Asia, 안녕하세요. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. By the way, this is Luna August 15th. It's based on, oh, it's always August 15th. 8월 15일이에요. 그런데 음력이에요. But it's always based on the lunar calendar. Lunar calendar. Okay. <laughs> And the next one is September 23rd, 9월 23일에 추분이 있어요. 음, 9월 23일은 추분이에요. So on September 23rd, actually it's not 23rd. <laughs> September 23rd, 23rd. 짜자자잔, 23rd is 추분 autumn in uh, equinox. I have a question. Do you do anything on this day in your country? <sighs> 추분, do you celebrate anything? Actually, in Korea, we do have this date, but we don't really do anything special. I mean, maybe yeah, some people do something different, but in general, I'm talking about general, like normal family like me, we don't really do anything. But Anyway, from this day, we think, ah, 가을이 시작됐어요. 가을이 시작됐어요. So autumn started. We think like this. It's 추분, 추분. Some groups too. <laughs> That's right. And 
Oh, that's right, Brian. You have very, very <laughs> good point. Sad. Nope, Nikhil. Exactly. We don't do anything. So true. But okay. So as I mentioned, traditionally we think September, 9월, 10월, October, November, 11월 is considered as autumn. Autumn. Mm, autumn. However. However, these days, <laughs> these days is getting hot, so some people don't agree with it. But anyway, t traditionally, it's supposed to be 초가을. 초가을. 가을. 가을 means autumn, and 초, 초, 초 means early. So 초가을 means early fall, early autumn. And uh, Shanani, 안녕하세요. <laughs> Kimana, oh, don't worry, you're still here. Thank you. <laughs> ah, Shruti, you have festival there. That's great. <laughs> I love festivals, by the way. <laughs> so, Chogar, Chogar means early fall. But as I mentioned, some people don't agree with it anymore because it's still hot. Why is it autumn? No, it's not an autumn anymore. It's rather the yorum. The yorum. The yorum. <laughs> yes, yeah, so dit dit means late. Yes, dit means late and yorum means summer. Yorum means summer. And the pronunciation is dnyorum. Do you hear this? Dnyorum. So actually, if you just find follow the uh the pronunciation rule is supposed to be dnyorum. The jorum it, so, it should sound like it because the jiut jiut goes to the your sound. If you know the how eun works, it goes to your so the jorum the jorum. So maybe some people pronounce it like this, but the correct pronunciation is the nyorum. So please remember it's the nyorum. It sounds like this the nyorum the nyorum the nyorum. Even though it's written as the yorum. Yorum, the correct pronunciation is like this. Yorum, but nobody write like this. So please write like this. <laughs> write, write like the yorum, but pronounce it like the yorum. Some pronunciation tip: the yorum. So late summer, late summer. It's still hot. Toyo. <laughs> And also in Korea, we think 가을은 독서의 계절이에요. 가을은 독서의 계절이에요. We think autumn, uh, autumn is the season for reading. So that's why September is a month of reading. Yay! <laughs> in Korea, month of reading is 독서의 달. 독서의 달. 독서의 달. 독서 meaning reading. And 의 means like s. So 독서에 means like readings. <laughs> 달, 달 meaning month. So it literally means readings month. <laughs> readings month. But anyway, it means like month of reading. 독서에 달. 독서 좋아하세요? Do you like reading? Mm. There are lots of events about reading 독서 in Korea in September. Usually in uh, 가을, 가을, autumn or fall. <laughs> Brian, that's right. 늦어름 is pretty easier to see at pronounce 18, but grammar points are important. <laughs> yes, it's 늦어름. Though some Korean people still say 늦어름, 늦어름. So people will understand, but the correct, correct pronunciation is 늦어름 because we want to emphasize 늦, and 여름 separately. <laughs> so it's the nyorum, the nyorum. Okay. Jan and oh, uh, is it good news for students? <laughs> it's start of class, which is ke kang, ke kang, ke kang. Ke means open, and kang means lecture. So it literally means open lecture. Lecture lectures are opening. Start of the class. Ke kang yeo, ke kang heo. 9월에, 9월에 많은 oops, 학교들이 개강, 
개강을 해요. 월 개강해요. You can put 을, or you can omit it. It's same. 9월에 많은, 학구, 많은 학교들이 개강해요. 9월, September에 is a part, uh, particle for time. So it makes 9월 like in September. 9월 is September. 에 is like in. In September. 많은 학교, 많은 학교, a lot of school. And 들, 들 is a uh, s- it makes 학교, school as a plural. So, 많은 학교들, lots of schools, many schools. 이 particle, 개강해요, means start, start, start classes, start classes. 9월에 많은 학교들이 개강해요. 9월에 많은 학교들이 개강해요. Please note that if you are, if you are, 초등학생, 중학생, 고등학생, 초, 고등학생, 초등학생 means elementary school student. 중학생 means <laughs> middle school students. 고등학생 means high school students. If you are these students, you do not use 개강. 개강 is only for 대학생, 대학생. Then, what word should I use for these students? When these students start the class, then they use this word. 개학, 개학, 개학. So school start, 개학. So if someone said, oh, uh, my school did 개강, then you know that that person is university student or college student. And if someone said, my school did 개학, 개학, then you know that they are one of these, elementary school, middle school, or high school student. <laughs> okay. By the way, I didn't put 개학 in September because usually these schools, these students start their class in August, late August. 8월, 8월에 개학해요. 그런데 대학생은 9월에 개강을 해요. So, university students go to uh, their school in September. And second semester starts. Second semester is 이 학기, 이 학기. Then what is the first semester? That's 일. 일 means one. So, one, one. 일 학기, 일 학기, 일 학기. Okay. <laughs> By the way, if you just join now, don't forget to get free materials. The link is in the description. Yay! <laughs> okay, so this is my personal recommendation. By the way, <laughs> it's my personal 추천 여행지, 추천 여행지. Because in September, I was thinking, what do I want to do in September? And I thought, ah, oh, I want to do this. So, my 추천 여행지 is this. Oh, <laughs> 춘천 레일 바이크 is 춘천 rail bike. So basically, as you can see here, it's a kind of like a big bike. And it's not the bike that you can just ride any road, but it's a rail bike. So you ride the bike, the big bike with your friends. I think up to four people. I don't remember. I haven't tried it actually. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> so four people or six people or more or two people. <laughs> you can take this rail bike. Yay! It seems fun and practice. 감사합니다. <laughs> the cat crew. Wow. <laughs> yes. And Kusinku. Oh, it's your birthday? 생일 축하합니다. <laughs> And in Chuncheon, you can enjoy this. Chuncheon is the name of the city. So Chuncheon Rail Bike. Because in summer, it's too hot. So I wouldn't recommend you to do this Rail Bike in Korea. It's too hot. But in autumn, especially September, October, November, it's perfect. And I personally think actually November or November, <laughs> uh, October and November would be better because you can see autumn leaves. But that would be very, very crowded. So September would be nice. <laughs> oh, you never seen something like this? This is very popular. The cat crew. <laughs> oh, uh, Stiz. I don't know how to read this pronunciation, but S C Y Z. Yes, in Incheon Airport. Yes, I think near Incheon Airport there is one too. Maybe. Yeah, I think I heard it. Or not. <laughs> but Chuncheon is very popular for this. <laughs> so it's very cool. And next. Chan, Gochang Memelbat. 
I want to go. 가고 싶어요. <웃음> 고창 is name of the city. 고창 is South South Korea. And Bok Wheat Field. Bok Wheat Field. 메밀. Bok Bok Wheat. Pat means field. Why do I recommend this? Have you watched the Korean drama? 도깨비, 도깨비 고블린, 고블린. In 도깨비, the there are two characters, right? The girl and 도깨비 고블린. <laughs> They often meet in this, in this uh, book we filled, in this drama, and I only thought <gasps> that's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and they give uh, the guy gives flower to the girl, right? This buckwheat flower is so beautiful, and you can only see this flower buckwheat field flowers in buckwheat buckwheat field in September. 9월 9월만 9월에만 볼수 있어요. 9월에만 볼수 있어요. You can only see this flower in September. October? Nope. 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 August? Nope, nope, nope. So if you are a big fan of Dokkebi, <laughs> try this. I want, I want to see that. It seems so beautiful with white flowers. <laughs> oh, Kekku, you never seen Korean dramas. Ooh, try it. <laughs> Nikki, exactly. <laughs> And food. Ooh, since it's a time, I move really quickly. But Jan, pe, pe, pe. Korean bae is very delicious. It's pear. And in other countries, I think the pear looks like this, right? <laughs> But in Korea, it's circle, circle, circle. And I was surprised in other countries when I travel other country, their pear looks like triangle. <laughs> in Korea, it's circle and pe pe. And some people probably say, "Oh, I know another meaning of pe, right? It can mean stomach. Yes, that's right. It can mean sheep." That's right. So, all of them are pe, but also pear means pe too. Pe. Now we have persimmon. Come, come, persimmon. Come. I like persimmon. <laughs> There are a few fruits that I buy very often, and one of them is persimmon. Come. 저는 감을 진짜 좋아해요. <laughs> I love persimmon. <laughs> Next, we have 굴, 굴, 굴. Oyster, and I heard, especially in Europe, gul is very expensive. So you only eat few gul, only few oysters <laughs> at a time. But in Korea, oyster gul is relatively cheap. So we eat like a lot, like like a lot. <laughs> so I heard some foreigners who um, come to Korea and eat. This oyster are surprised. Wow, it's so cheap, and Korean people eat a lot at once <laughs> because it's not so expensive in Korea. So try. It depends on the country, I think. I know in Europe it's expensive, but how about in your country? I know we have a lot of students from different uh, different countries. So cool. <laughs> and 고등어 mackerel. <laughs> When I was Kid, when I was kid, I really like mackerel. I preferred mackerel to meat. Yeah, I preferred 고등어, 고등어, 고등어 mackerel. <laughs> It's very healthy too. 고등어, 고등어, and 고등어 구이 진짜 맛있어요. <laughs> 고등어 구이 is grilled mackerel. It's very good. It goes very well with pop, pop, pop rice. Okay, now we have crab. Crab is K K K. By the way, K. Can you pronounce it differently? So theoretically, this the romanization is this. That romanization is this. K K is K. Can you uh, differentiate the pronunciation here? So the romanization is different. So a lot of people think, hmm, how can I make sound different? But actually, Korean people, normal Korean people pronounce it exactly the same way. 
theoretically there are difference like k or k k so you uh, open your mouth more and this one a little little so this one is supposed to have like bigger sounds uh, i mean bigger you need to open your mouth more but in daily life normal people we just pronounce the same way k and k by the way k means a dog and k <laughs> means crap so i think announcers announcers still uh, pronounce it differently but normal people in daily life real daily life like not a like prom not a like announcer not a narra na narrator or not a professor like really normal people like real korean people that you can see on the street they do not make any difference when they pronounce this dog or crap so please don't worry just say k k k that's it we put different romanization just because we want to distinguish this and this if you just write in the same way we cannot distinguish by looking at the romanization so when you pronounce ha ah, don't worry <laughs> oh don't worry it's just same it's very common question that's why i'm emphasizing it kelly oh, you never had a persimmon then come to korea <laughs> come to korea please come to korea and enjoy persimmon it's very sweet by the way and at first ah, the texture is difficult to yeah <laughs> It's not like apple, it's not like pear, but yes, I would say it's maybe, maybe a little bit closer to the western pear in terms of the texture, but it's very sweet, like mango. It's very sweet, <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we keep the persimmon for a long time, then it becomes very soft, like mango too. And we also dry it and eat my parents always bought a lot of persimmon and we uh they dry it so they eat it uh ate, they eat dried persimmon it's very good too <laughs> the cat crew yes exactly k and g g and g is different in english but in korean we don't have the uh difference in pronunciation in usually <laughs> so yeah we just put the in different romanization just because to distinguish the real Hangul alphabet. Otherwise, people by looking at the romanization, they don't know what what, what is it, <laughs> which one is it? Is it K or K? So they cannot distinguish. But in real life, in real life, no difference in pronunciation. <laughs> okay. So that's it for today's lesson. And as I mentioned, you can download this PDF this pdf i show you a lot of slides with uh, this <laughs> this with the image and the uh, letters korean words and translation this photo card can be downloaded from the link in the description not only this all my previous lesson notes are in the lesson note <laughs> not all my lesson notes are in the link in the description <laughs> as well as this hangul worksheet Yay! So please check it out. And Rosemary, 안녕하세요. <laughs> a press persimmon in Philippines is expensive. <gasps> then come to Korea. It's cheaper. <laughs> it's <laughs> I think the price is almost same as the um, apple and pears. <laughs> okay. So next week, I will have another class which is about grammar. Boom. Bob, boom, bob grammar. So I'm going to talk about how to negate Korean sentences. So how can you make the negative sentences in Korean? Mm, we have two different ways and I'm going to introduce this super duper important Korean grammar. So please join it. It will be 1 p.m. in Korean time, which means it will be different in your country. So make sure to check your clock. And Nikki, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is Tteokbokki <laughs> And Berna, 10월에 꼭 가야 되는 곳은? Mm, I'll introduce in October, so please <laughs> Please wait for it <laughs> 감사합니다 So please join this class again and I'll wait for you next week <laughs> So 감사합니다 everyone Kwati, the uh, cat crew, Brian, Poyan <laughs> And practice some. Um, 
and Brian, Rene, Bernard, and Shristi, and six mil milmu. <laughs> I'm about to leave everyone. So Kelly, Press, Christopher. Rumana Roy. So if you leave comment next week, I'll keep reading more. So, 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. 안녕, 안녕히 가세요. And Chun Chun want to say bye too. 안녕, 안녕. 감사합니다. And by the way, yes, if you want to do homework, <laughs> I was, I was about to forget. No. 짜잔, 짜잔. What is your favorite thing to do in September in your country? If you write it in Korean, that's awesome. But if you write it in English, that's great too. <laughs> I introduced some Korean words based on your writing. So please let me know. Last month in August, Parwar, one of my students said she loves drinking masala tea. <laughs> masala tea. So I was curious. Oh, I want to try masala tea. So I went to the supermarket and I got the masala tea and I love masala tea now. So what's your favorite things to do in September? Please let me know in your country. I would love to learn about your culture too. So, 감사합니다. If you want, please leave a comment on Facebook and YouTube of koreanclass101.com or you can uh, let me know personally on my Instagram, super, super Cajun. <laughs> if you tag me on Instagram story, yeah, I can read it and learn more about your culture and I can also introduce new Korean words and fix your Korean grammars. So, yes. Brian, yes, in Korean, please. <laughs> in Korean or in English. <laughs> not, uh, not Chinese, not Spanish. <laughs> so, 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. 안녕, 안녕.